is up YouTube? What's cool? What's green? What's happening? It's time for life. So today I'm going to walk you through a little bit of my skincare. I just washed my face. My skin is looking really ashy because I've been putting some antibiotics on there because they've been, I've just been breaking out and stuff like that. So what I start with is my somewhat primer. It's from The Ordinary and it's hyaluronic acid and B5. So hyaluronic acid is great for moisture retention. So sometimes your skin is really dry. It's going to put a good amount because my skin is really dry. Um, it's got a nice droplet, so I love that. And it's very like gloopy. Hyaluronic acid is great just to keep moisture in your skin. You can see my skin just drinking that up and it makes it very plump. Now I've used a lot of skincare products over the years, over the decades, whatever, um, high end, just drugstore, all kinds of brands. But sometimes they'll tell you to buy a combination, right? Buy this whole set, like with Clinique or Dermalogica. I always say Dermalogica because I have a friend who's Latin American and she says it that way and I think it sounds amazing. But I don't actually know who, who owns the brand. Maybe it's Dermalogica. I don't know. But um, yeah, so all these type of places, they want you to buy the set. You buy the primer and the, the toner and the, mm, there's one thing. Anyway, there's so many steps. But um, what I do sometimes is I take, I will buy the line, but then I sometimes just use, for instance, this, and I'll use a good amount, and then I'll walk around for a few hours just to see if I'm not getting any irritation, just to see that it really works, that I, it makes my skin feel really good, kind of on its own, because I know you're supposed to use them all together, but for the level that we're at right now, this is the primer, for the level that we're at, I keep calling it primer, it's serum. I mean serum. Anyway, for the level that we're at, does the skin feel okay? It's not obviously gonna feel to the max hydrated, but does it feel decent? So that's what I do. I think I'll make this into smaller videos. So go check out my other skincare videos, but now I'm just gonna talk about, basically, when I came out of, you know, out from washing my face, I didn't, I don't dry my face. I never dry my face because if you think about it, when you dry your face, your towel needs to be very clean. Like when you go to the hotel, they always give you a new towel. But then people are sitting in the house and using the same towel the entire week. And they use the same towel that they use for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, what. And they are using it also for their face. That's not good. That's no good because that's also a problem. These people, these people, they ensure that there's a lot of pollution in, in the air. And so when you go out there, all that goes on your face. So never sleep without washing your face because I did that once and this is what I look like. Yeah, that was not great. So always make sure your face is clean, whether you're in the house, whether you went outside, there's a whole lot of pollution and stuff that goes on our face. In any case, um, what was I saying? So I never dry my face. So I just let it air dry kind of thing. And it does, it does pretty quickly. Within about a minute, you're completely, your face is completely dry. I make sure that I use one product to see if it works, if it causes any irritation. Because sometimes people have a skincare routine and it's like 20 products. And I'm like, how do you know which one works well? You might have added something. You have 19 skincare products that you use every single morning, every single night. And you add the 20th and you're like, oh, but now my skin looks that much better. Maybe it's not because of that 20th product. Maybe it's because you've been using the products for a while. Maybe it's because you're not stressed. Maybe it's because you're sleeping better. Maybe it's because you're drinking more. Maybe it's because you're drinking better things. Yeah, maybe because you're eating better. Did I say that already? Anyway, there could be a whole lot of external factors that have nothing to do with your products. And the buildup of you doing it so well for for a long period of time makes it that your skin is looking better. Sometimes it's not about products because I've used some products before and I'll have amazing skin for weeks and then I use them again and all of a sudden something's amiss, like all of a sudden I'm breaking out and it's like also there's the thing of your skin getting used to certain product products, you do need to switch it out a little bit. So sometimes I don't even just go for the line, I'll have the, or, uh, the ordinary and then I'll throw in some Dermalogica product in there and it just kind of mix it up, whatever feels good and just kind of mix it all up. But sometimes if I'm using one online for like months and months at a time at a certain point it's almost as if it doesn't work anymore so that's what i do you can use things like simple you can get it at boots such a um, super drug simple is really good it's really simple in terms of the packaging it's also really simple in terms of no fragrance it's also really simple in terms of the price which is great that's what i love so it's very cheap and you can get a whole line and it's it's just amazing but yeah anyway that's what i'm going to talk about now in my next video i'm going to try the Marocca project and tell you more about that so stay tuned because i'm going to be doing a lot of skincare because i'm on a journey i'm trying to get my skin to where i don't need to put antibiotics on there to make it look normal i mean i'm past my teen years like i've talked okay i was alive too but i thought i wouldn't have any problems with pimples or anything cystic acne and all that at this age but here I am. So we're just gonna figure it out together. We're just gonna go on a journey together and figure this thing out. And it doesn't necessarily have to be very expensive, but you're just gonna go on a journey and I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. 
um yeah but um if you're not already part of this family make sure you hit stop as well to the subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think like because you obviously like this video and learned a lot and whilst you're at it hit the notification bell i'll see you in the next one which will be very soon in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to start what? Live your life. Nice.